So today what we're going to be doing is showing you how I back up my OS drive if I'm using an SD card or a USB drive. If you're using a regular uh, hard drive or a SSD, I'll do part two of that video. Uh, will be coming later this week. And a special thank you to all my patrons who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome to Technodad Life, where we make technology simplified. And so today what we're going to be doing is backing up our OS uh, SD card or USB drive. So let's get right into this. So the first thing we want to do is go to Open Media Vault and make sure we shut down the computer that we're going to be copying the drive from. So with this way, we're going to be copying the SD card or the USB drive. So how we're going to be doing that is we're going to shut down our computer and then pulling that drive out and then copying it. So our Open Media Vault is shut down so we can close this. Next, we're going to download H2 Test W. And so what this does is just check to make sure our drive is actually what it should be and it doesn't throw any errors. So once you have that downloaded and installed, select your language, uh, select your target, and then click Write and Verify. And so what this message says is it might not be able to test the whole drive, and we're going to click OK. And depending on the size of your drive, this could take a while. And so what you're going to be finding that today, we're going to be drinking a lot of coffee. A second option, if you don't want to use that program and you already have Passmark software, you can use their burn in test. And so basically this will do the same thing. It will verify the size of your drive and also that there's no errors. The next thing we need to do is download Win32 Disk Imager. And so what this will do is copy the contents of our SD card or our USB drive onto our hard drive. So once we've turned off our Pi or our server, we need to take out the SD card or the USB drive and then put it in a card reader and then plug it into our computer. And here you can see our Raspberry Pi SD card. Now we're going to open up the Win32 disk imager and you can see it's already found our drive. And next we want to put in a file image name and how we're going to do that is first we're going to click on this folder and that will take us to the selected image and we're going to put this in the Raspberry Pi folder. So double click on that and then we're going to put in a name and then put the date and then put .img for image and then click open. So what we're going to be doing is click read but before we do that we're going to click on read only selected read only allocated partitions and then this should make it so it only copies data from those partitions that have data on them. So click read. Now here you can see in this box it says it will take about 6 minutes and 22 seconds. If you're using a if you're using a larger disk, it could take up to an hour, which it did for me when I used a 128 gigabyte uh, SD card. So once that is done, it will say read successful and then click OK and then click verify only. That will verify the image that you just copied and that will take the equal amount of time it did to uh, read it in the first place. And once that's done verifying, click OK and you can close this. Next we're going to go to raspberrypi.org downloads and download the Raspberry Pi imager for Windows. So what this program will do will so what this program will do will now write that image to an SD card and verify it. Uh, the other thing you can use is Etcher. I just prefer this one because this is particularly for the Raspberry Pi. So first click on Choose OS, scroll down, and use Custom. Navigate to where you have your Raspberry Pi image. And there's my backup image. And then I'm going to open that. 
And I forgot to take out my card that I'm copying, so I'm going to do that right now and then insert our blank card. Once you have your card installed, click Choose SD Card, click your SD card, and then click Write. Now this will take a few minutes, so again, time for a cup of coffee. If you're using an SD card with information written on it already, I would suggest using the SD card formatter from the SD card uh, association. It provides the cleanest way of erasing the SD card. So once that's done verifying, then you can click continue and remove your SD card. So next, take out your SD card, insert, insert it into your computer or your Raspberry Pi, and boot up again. And that is how you make a backup copy of your boot drive when you're using an SD card or a USB drive. In a week or so, we're going to show you how to make a backup of your drive if you're using a hard drive or a SSD. And that's it for today. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified when I post a new video. You have a great day. Bye-bye.